That's what Payday 3 is offering as you once again follow the original crew of robbers from Payday the Heist. This game is all about going through a series of heists and stick-ups. You'll have to plan out your attack the weaponry, gadgets, and an escape route before you burst into the scene to take charge. Of course, this time around we're in New York, and the world, along with the economy, has changed since our original crew of criminals first got started in the life of crime. Law enforcement will have their own new tools and strategies to face off, not to mention the growing popularity of cryptocurrency. But fortunately, what hasn't changed is the cooperative gameplay. This game will still feature co-op, so you and your friends can try to successfully complete some of the biggest heists New York has ever seen. When you're tasked with saving a world and saving the very existence you live in, it'd be nice not to have to do it alone. In Remnant 2, you have the power to save reality on your own, or you can bring in a friend to help tag team things. As you explore the game's many worlds, you'll find yourselves going up against bosses that few can beat on their own. In these times, call upon other players and work together to vanquish them. To ensure you're a team player, go and upgrade your character and blend classes together, to unlock new abilities and potential. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre film is one of the most iconic horror films of all time, retelling the shockingly true story of the Slaughter family and what they did to people. But now, you can experience the story from your own eyes via the game adaptation. As you might expect, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre title is a 4v1 title in the style of Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th. One player will be one of the Slaughter family and seek out those who are your guests and make sure they stay permanently. As for the other players, it's your job to run like the wind and sneak away so that you can escape if you make it that far. <laughs> When you're fighting an alien menace that threatens all of humanity, which is totally epic if you didn't know, sometimes you'll want to take them on with as many people as possible. Thankfully, Starship Troopers Extermination will let you do just that. The co-op first-person shooter will take you to a world where the arachnids have beaten back the mobile infantry and you must reclaim all you've lost. As you explore the world, you'll not only face the bugs but have to rebuild bases so you can seize control of the area once again. Given all the types of bugs that will be thrown at you, you and your co-op partner must always be on their toes. If you enjoyed The Lords of the Fallen, prepare for another helping, a reboot of sorts is coming, which is also called The Lords of the Fallen. Taking place ages after the first game, we know that the demonic lord has risen and will once again unleash his tyranny against the world. Players will get another action RPG experience, where you'll go through the realms of both the living and the dead to stop this new evil threat. Fortunately, you don't have to go through this title experience alone. This game will also include cooperative multiplayer support, with players being able to join in and go through the campaign together. If you're a fan of horror games, then chances are you are aware of the Outlast franchise. While before we get a third mainline installment, the developers brought out a multiplayer experience with the Outlast Trials. The Outlast Trials is set years before the first two games during the Cold War when the Murkoff Corporation imprisons you. 
forced to undergo a variety of unethical experiments, the only means of escape is completing a series of challenges. However, between you and these objectives are a variety of hostile enemies. Just like in previous games, there's no means of attacking enemies. Instead, some items further buff your character up to quickly reach a new area or slow an enemy down. However, your greatest means of help is with friends. This game offers cooperative multiplayer support where you and some friends can try to complete these objectives together or potentially throw each other under the bus. In today's gaming age, most titles with an expansive world try to give you a co-op or multiplayer experience so that you can enjoy the game with friends. If you wish to do that in an RPG setting, Baldur's Gate 3 is the title to try. The best part here is that this won't be a case of one person leading and the others following. You'll be equal partners in this journey, and with four of you in one party, that means there are plenty of ways you can handle things. You can coordinate to take down big bosses, go on separate quests, or screw each other over just because you can. Sometimes you just want to get into a game and blow stuff up because you have the weapons to do so. In Helldivers 2, you'll be gifted with all sorts of destructive tools for blowing up aliens to defend Super Earth. But the best part is you get to work with three friends to do it in style and with even bigger explosions. The alien threats will come after you one wave at a time, the more waves you survive, the more you can upgrade your arsenal for even more destructive potential. So build your team to work harmoniously with one another, then have a blast as you destroy aliens left and right. From the creators of the unique and terrifying The Forest, a surprising sequel Sons of the Forest is a survival horror game where you find yourself on a remote island, but not entirely deserted. What makes this series so special is the frightening cannibals, the heavy survival elements and the unique crafting you can learn to survive amongst your creepy neighbors. You don't have to face the cannibals alone, The Forest and its sequel lets you play with your friends and create a survival base together to fight off the hordes of monsters lurking beyond the trees. The beloved Diablo franchise released its fourth entry this year, developed by Blizzard Entertainment. Diablo 4 is an action RPG with thorough character customization, procedurally generated dungeon crawling and a sprawling open world. Just like its predecessors, Diablo 4 can be even more fun with friends. The series is known for its enticing loot system and gradual character leveling, making you more and more stronger the further you progress through the dungeons. There are five different classes to choose from, which are Barbarian, Druid, Necromancer, Rogue, and Sorcerer. This next entry is distinctively delightful and very much anticipated for anyone who enjoys survival and crafting games. Nightingale is an adventure game set in a fantasy world filled with outlandish monsters and arcane technologies. Developed by a Canadian studio called Inflection Games, Nightingale looks to be a wild first project. As you may have guessed, Nightingale lets you tackle the Fey Realms with friends as well. Alongside crafting, there is an intricate building system that lets you create a community to live and rest in before heading out into dangerous ruins and portals. Nightingale will be with us in 2024, but it has been included in the list as a bonus game.